face and what we're going to be doing is putting a nose and a mouth on Henry. Uh, there are two methods of putting a nose on a, on a bear and you can purchase these noses through uh, the bear sites, the websites that uh, offer supplies or you can hand embroidery them on. I usually hand embroidery them on because it gives a more natural look and I'm not the best embroiderer at, at this, but I um, like the effect of the hand embroidered nose. We're going to look at how I do these. And in my book of Henry, there's a page in here that gives the various types of noses that you can put on your bear and I trace them out onto my templates and I cut these out, the templates out, and then I put them on black felt. Cut the black felt out and then I glue the black, black felt to the nose with some fabric glue. This keeps it in place while I embroider it. And the reason for the black felt is that if you just embroidery over the fur, some of the fur can peek through and it doesn't give it a nice finished look. Uh, with the black felt on the nose, your stitches, if they're a little off, are somewhat hidden. So what I'm going to do is cut out the nose that I drew and I'm going to glue it on Henry. And we'll let this glue sit, I use a fabric glue, we'll let this glue sit for about 30 minutes so that it can dry a little bit before I start to embroider it. So, we'll continue on. Okay, here you'll see the templates again that I've created and I've cut one out that I want to use for Henry. And now I'm going to cut out the felt of the template. And I just cut a piece out. And it doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to make this just a little bigger. Because as you're embroidering the nose, it tends to shrink up a little bit. The embroidery stitch I'm going to be using is called the satin stitch and I'll show you how we'll be doing that. So right now we're going to glue this nose onto the bear and I want to talk about placing the nose on the bear because obviously you want to position it correctly. And what I do is I put it where the seams meet, and you can feel them. That center seam here, and then the two side seams, and I kind of center it on there. And you can just put some pins on there and adjust it to how you think it should look. I'm going to change, put a smaller pin in here. He looks a little funny, but this is about where I want to place the nose. So what I'm going to do is put some of this fabric glue on the back of the nose. I'm just going to lift up one side because I don't want to have to reposition it. Put a dab of the glue on. It dries clear and it's flexible. So it won't be stiff but yet it 
we'll hold it in place while we're doing the nose. And we'll let this sit for about 30 minutes. Okay, we've let the glue dry on the felt piece and as you can see it's stuck down here. So what I'm going to start doing is the embroidery on the black felt and what I'm using is a DMC black embroidery thread and I'm using my hand sewing needle which is specifically for leather sewing and I will be using my thimble and uh, my pliers to be pulling the needle through in spots where it's a little more difficult to get the needle through. So what I do is I usually start in the center and work my way out to one side and then again start in the center and work my way out to the other. And I come down away from the nose and go up to the top. And you don't want to pull your thread really tight when you come up to the top. This takes some time to do. And I have a knot already. a little bit of the tail out and you'll cut that off later. And then what I do is a simple satin embroidery stitch and you don't want to pull it tight because then you're going to move that nose around. I usually just pull it to where it's covering the top of the felt and then I hold it down and come under again. I have this little quilter's uh, piece of rubber that I use to protect my fingers. Sometimes I use this and sometimes I use my needle. Okay, this came up too far. You want to come up as close to the top of this nose as possible. to use a nose that you purchase you have to insert the nose before you stuff the bare head okay it's probably hard to see these uh, stitches because I've got black thread on the black felt but on the satin stitches I'm getting them as close together as possible and don't pull too tightly takes time and um, sometimes it's a little hard to get the needle through the fur. As you can see, I'm running out of thread, so what I'm going to do is take a stitch under here to anchor this last stitch on the nose, and take another one, and then 
come out over here someplace and cut my thread. Okay, I have half of Henry's nose done, and what I did was I went under here, under the embroidery, and came out on the top side over here. This is where my thread is, so I'm just going to continue the rest of the nose as I've done here. Okay, I've stitched Henry's nose the best that I could, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little stitch just anywhere up here, oh, you're not going to see it, and just kind of lock these stitches in, and then I'm going to come out and just cut the stitching away, or the thread away. And we're finished with Henry's nose. On some bears, I do put a mouth, uh, but because of this fur, this nap is is higher, and I don't want to cut it too low because then the stitching of the pelts are going to show. I've decided not to give Henry a mouth. I'm just fluffing up the fur a little bit around here and giving him more a fuzzy look. So you can uh, do what you are comfortable with. Again, it all depends on the fur that you use or if you use mohair. Uh, just play around with it until you get the look that you want. Okay, this completes this episode. Uh, please be sure to come back next week. And what you're going to see me doing is complete, complete the stuffing of these parts, attaching the parts to the body and the head to the body. And we should have the bear completed then. So I hope to see you back next week.